folks, it's John with KGTropicals.com. Got an interesting email a couple of weeks ago from a gentleman named Sangmin Yun. He said, John, if I send you some products that I've just started manufacturing, would you take a look at them and if you like them, maybe do a review for me on YouTube? I said, yeah, why not? I mean, I get those emails every once in a while from people. And I say, you know what? Send me the product. If I like them, maybe I'll do a review. If I don't, well, I got some free stuff, so that's cool. Uh, but let me just tell you something. When I opened up the box and I looked at this product that he sent me, I knew instantaneously that it was going to be one that was going to need to be in videos. It has to be something that I feel like the viewers of my channel can get something out of. And I knew it immediately when I looked in here. Now, what we're talking about are these products sitting right here in front of me. They look like little spaceships, don't they? You're wondering, what in the world are these things? Well, these are manufactured egg tumblers for African cichlids, folks. And let me tell you something, these things are absolutely first class. I'm not saying this because the guy sent me the tumblers. I'm saying this because it's absolute fact. When you take a look at these things and you see the way they work, which I'm going to show you in a minute, you're going to see why I'm so excited about these things. They're absolutely incredible. Uh, they're not outrageously expensive. And you can order them up right now off of eBay and have them to you real fast and put these things to action and you'll be surprised at the results that you'll get. Now let me tell you a little bit about these things first. I don't know a whole lot about them, but this is what I do know. These things took five years to develop, folks. Mr. Yun that um, did, uh, invented these, he holds a PhD in organic chemistry and he has 17 patents to his name. So this guy obviously is smarter than me and he obviously knows what he's doing. It took him five years to actually develop the molds and get these things to where they can be manufactured on a large scale. So it took so long to put these things together, you know that they're going to be right. And I'm going to tell you something, when you see them in action, you'll see that they absolutely are. So let me show you these things closer up, give you a good uh, idea of how these things work and how they come together and what they come with. And then we'll take a look at one with actual eggs in it and it's going to blow your mind. So let's take a look at it up close. Okay, so I wanted to give you a closer up look at these units before I actually show them to you in action so that you can see what this unit comes with and give you an idea of how the whole thing works. Uh, this is the ZET-65 and this larger unit is the ZET-80. Uh, my honest opinion for your everyday African cichlid hobbyist breeder, I think that the 65 here would be the one that's probably going to be uh, the best seller for that. Uh, in a much larger scale, if you're breeding something like frontosas, tilapia, things like that. Uh, I don't know anybody that, that strips tilapia, but anyway, you could in a unit that size. Um, and even some of your larger haps and things like that, that uh, spawn huge broods, 70, 80 eggs, you could put them in there as well. But I think that for the peacock and hap and, and uh, imbuna breeder, this is probably going to be the one that's going to sell the most. It's a little bit more manageable size if you've got a 12 inch tall tank it'll fit in there really easily um, and it's it's just a good size you know it's not overpowering it's not huge but it's not too small either it's about four times the size of one of the DIY egg tumblers that I showed you in a previous video and it absolutely outperforms those DIY tumblers you'll see that in the video coming up but wanted to give you a look at these things and how they're constructed um, first of all you get this removable clip that holds on to the glass with four suction cups um, so you can have that in place and ready to go once your tumbler is all set up and full of eggs you can just put it in the tank slide it onto there and it's done um, the unit has a little stand built into the bottom it almost looks like the bottom of a soda can uh, and it stands up real nice while you're getting everything ready and uh, getting set up to strip the female um, the top here I'm gonna go ahead and remove this just to get it out of the way the top here comes off and this is how you would load your eggs into the unit. Um, you see your nice little sturdy clip here on the back. Um, you can stand it up, stand it out of the way while you're doing your work and getting ready. Uh, this is where all of the action happens though. This is what causes the turbulence in the unit to tumble the eggs. We've got a sponge filter here on the top that I for some reason can't get out. Um, that's going to help to keep debris and everything else from going down into the unit, contaminating the eggs. Very nice. Um, this pops off. You see the air stone in there. The air stone is what causes 
the turbulence in the unit. So basically what it's doing is providing air to the unit, which pushes air down the tube and causes the turbulence within the, uh, the big cup there. And you'll get a better idea when you see it in action uh, of how that whole thing works. Um, there is a small screen on here also. I don't know if it shows up on camera. Uh, again, to help keep anything from getting down into this unit. Uh, and there's not a lot of things that would get down in there, but you know, leftover food, things like that. You're not gonna have to worry about them going down and getting uh, into the tumbler. And you're also not gonna have to worry about fry swimming out. So that's definitely a plus. Um, the unit comes exactly how you see it right now, with the hose, with the little valve on the end for adjusting the amount of air that goes into the unit. So it literally is a plug and play type of deal. You don't have to do anything to it. Stick this on the glass, fill this up full of water, fill it full of eggs, stick it on there, hook this up to an air supply, and you're done. So very simple to use, yet absolutely first class in the way that it was constructed. It took him five years to develop this thing. You know this thing must be right. So let's go take a look at it in action and you can see how this whole thing works. Okay, so we've got a few of these egg tumblers in action already. Uh, one of them is over in our egg tumbler tank and then I just did these two this morning. Um, these are the red top Lawandas that you saw in the, the last shipment that we got. Uh, that we got two holding females in that shipment. So we went ahead and stripped those and, uh, and here are the eggs from those. We've got the ZET65 on the left and the ZET80 on the right. Um, the, one, the 65 has more eggs in it than the 80. I had no way of knowing which female had more eggs in them. Um, both of these broods would be suitable for the 65, but I wanted to show both of them in action. And I also kept them, instead of putting them in my egg tumbler tank, I went ahead and put them in here to give you the view of what it would look like in your aquarium. I'm assuming that most people don't have egg tumbler tanks, you know, a tank that's dedicated specifically to tumbling eggs. So I wanted to show you what it would look like in your aquarium at home. Um, now again, because of lighting and everything else, this you're looking at these from the back, uh, from the side where the, the clip actually attaches to the glass. Maybe not the best way of looking at them, but again, it's as good as I can do for right now. Uh, if I'm gonna put these in an aquarium, I wanted to keep them in the same water that the fish were already in. So. Um, let's get a close-up look here and you'll be able to see really these things <laughs> what they do to these eggs it's pretty incredible okay so these are the eggs in the ZET 80 um, I don't know there's probably 18 to 20 eggs in there uh, brand new and they all look really good which we got lucky there uh, you can see them moving quite a bit I could probably dial these down a little bit they, they don't quite need to move that aggressively but I just fired this thing up and just got it started, so I'll, I'll do some adjusting on that in a minute. But uh, these are brand new eggs, no fry developing on them yet at all, uh, just from the female. Now, if we move over, I'm gonna try to do this without being too jumpy. If we move over to the ZET65, these fry are starting to develop. You can see them developing on the outside of the egg. Uh, you can see the eyeballs, don't they look so cute? Um, this one is a larger brood than the other one. I, I would have done them in the opposite tumblers if I knew, but you don't know until you strip them. So, <laughs> but there is more, there's enough room in this tumbler to put quite a few more eggs in there if, if need be. Uh, of course, you know, that would mean that there's a larger brood, not necessarily mixing a bunch of broods because you don't know what level of development they're at, everything else. So it's not like I would want to mix both of these together uh, because Obviously, this one is a lot farther along in the process than the other ones that we just looked at. So you can see that it's really tumbling those eggs quite a bit. Um, they're bouncing around and they're flying around and that's absolutely perfect. Now again, I, I probably could dial this one down a little bit. Uh, they don't really need to be moving that violently, but you know, I turned it down pretty far and got them to where they weren't bouncing around too much. When this thing, when I first plugged it in, and put the eggs in, it was wide open and the eggs were flying all over the place. So this, this unit definitely does cause quite a bit of turbulence in there and, uh, and definitely keeps those eggs moving. And uh, which, I mean, that's exactly what we want to get these eggs 
to develop. We want them floating around. We don't want them laying on top of each other. We don't want them laying on the bottom. We want them moving around and uh, that way they'll develop and they won't fungus over and rot. So I am absolutely impressed with this unit. If you want to get some of your own, you can check out their website at www.zisaqua, which is Z Zebra, I Idaho SS Aqua.com. I'll put that down below. Uh, they also have a Facebook page, Facebook backslash Zis Aqua. Uh, and you can buy them directly from eBay. They also offer these in sets. You can buy them like a set of the three uh, 65s or uh, 180 and 165 you can buy them in different sets which is really nice and they give you a little discount for that so I definitely recommend this product uh, he sent us six of them which I had no idea he was gonna send that many and I will absolutely have all six of these working very soon and I will probably be going on eBay and ordering some more because these things work phenomenally and I, I can't say enough about them they're perfect so Get your credit card out, go over to eBay, and order up some of these. Show this guy some love. He deserves it. He put five years into developing this product, and it shows. It's flawless.